cut the top of it. Just under it. <clears throat> I am aiming for the main part of the spoon on the right side of your screen. So, so you know what I'm aiming at because that handle is going to flip every time I hit that main part of the spoon on the right. Just under it. See if we can try to put one on that handle. Ooh, just to the left. Just over the top. Just to the left. Try a couple more at that handle. See what we can do. Way hard left. Still hard left. In between them. I nicked it. Mix it at 30 mil. There's the 30 mil. Send one more. Try for the main part of the spoon again. Just under it. to the right. Wow. I aim for the handle and they all go hard left. I aim for the freaking spoon itself and they're all going hard right. That's exactly what they're doing. And that one in between them. So, I'm out here in the backyard, and today I am shooting one of the, shooting one of the only bushy beaver slingshots that I own today in the backyard. <clears throat> Designed by uh, Eric Bart from the USA Slingshot Shooters Group. Built by Bushy Beaver Slingshots. It's called the Tick. It's a very, very small, very comfortable design. I would definitely classify it in the way of a gapper for like a PFS style. That's actually how I was shooting it with a twist and a tweak. The setup I am, I've got tabbed, going to two millimeter solid round with simple shot. The only thing that I want you to bring back outside of the dead ringer are these Rue BB pouches. Bring them back. But it's a Rue BB pouch from Simple Shot. 
and I am shooting quarter inch or six millimeter steel. So the frame itself in hand feels extremely good. The HTPE seems to be of good quality. If I could give it any kind of knock or a ding against it, is more on the build standpoint. He left all the edges sharp. They're not really rounded at all. And uh, I may I may round them off. I haven't decided yet. I've had this for a bit from Eric and when I got it, it was right when our storm season started so I really haven't had a chance to go out and really do much of anything. But uh, these are, this is literally my first shots with it, so you guys are seeing it. You're seeing me getting acclimated to it. Right in between. I'm pretty sure if I had a, uh, a band set up I was used to on it, and I, mean, I am aiming for the main part of the spoon again. If I had a band set I was used to on it, it would probably be different, but right under the tip of the spoon. This was the last of my two millimeter solid round, so I figured I'd go ahead and use it up. Left. Let's try for that 30 again. Oh, I got the 30. Try the spoon to the right. I don't know what it is about that particular level where that spoon is. It does not matter what size target I have there. It could be a 50, a 60, a 40, a 30. Those spoons, for some reason, that level messes with me. It doesn't matter what target I have there. Aiming for that main spoon again. Right under it. Nicked it. Crushed it. And one more at the 30. Last shot. And I crushed the 30. So, yeah, that's got to be something with that level that, that's, that those targets are on. I don't know. But, you can find Bushy Beaver Slingshots in the USA Slingshot Shooters Group. I believe, uh, I don't know. I've seen a custom, but I don't know if it was a one-off or if he's actually building them. So I'm not going to say on that. That might have been built for Eric as a, uh, a gift for Eric. But this is Eric Bart's design in the USA Slingshot Shooters group on Facebook. Uh, he's a great dude. He's built a hand. He's bought built. He's bought a handful of my builds that I've made, and uh, most of them are in that size range. Overall length, they're in that size range. Uh, as far as bushy, bushy beaver slingshots goes, I'd probably get more. Uh, he had one that I wanted to try. I think it was called the Newt. It was, it was really just like a straight Y. Uh, I actually wanted to try that one because he said it's supposed to replicate or... Uh, feel similar to a frameless feel when you're shooting and uh, I wanted to try that one but I have just haven't had a chance to commit to getting one yet I mean overall the build quality is great the little bit of router work he has on it there's no chatter so you can see that he is he had a good sharp bit and 
the material was up against the bit for the whole cut. There wasn't any bouncing, there was no chatter. There's a little bit of stringiness, but I mean, I can take a heat gun and get rid of the stringiness. That's not a big deal. I'm not gonna, that's not a gripe against it. Yeah, the only thing I could say is I wish uh, in building he would have rounded off the edges on it, take away some of the, the sharp edges, but otherwise, in hand, the frame feels good. You can see I lock it in with the pinky there. And I'm using more of a, uh, a bone grip or a brace or a pinch grip style. So there's your pinch, but I'm using it more of a bone grip, so it's actually going in the pocket of the hand. It feels good. It's a great design. Great company that built it. So I'll see if I can uh, find Bushy Beaver's link and post it in the video down below. As always, you'll have my affiliate links down below for material like this two millimeter solid rubber or solid round. And uh, those those will be my Amazon affiliate links. You can do all your shopping on Amazon through that link and it will credit me and my channel. Uh, so, Bushy Beaver Slingshots, the tick. This has been Chris with Backyard Slingshots. Until next time, shooters, keep it in the 10 ring.